Okay, Mark. I forgot to do the yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. And, then, so, and then the other thing is um, that um, I thought that this grant project would be a good one mm -hmm. for this money because it needs a 10% uh, match from the town. So yeah. it's a $3 million grant. So um, there's a chunk of money that the town would have to come up with. And it seemed like a really good thing for the CLRF money. So. Anyway, I, I just thought I'd um, yeah, uh, so work with Hannah on, on sending that. Yeah, I did send her the list too that we sent to the ARPA folks, to the ARPA committee. Yep. So yep. is there no talk about um, any COVID bonus pay for workers who had to- Yeah, we decided the problem with that is that then you start, like who do you, where do you stop? Because, um, uh, you know, then you'd have to, Give it to teachers because Direct they contact. Yeah. Or okay. or transfer station attendants. Well, example. right, but if you're going to do that, then you know, then you have to talk about I mean, because you know, granted, you know, he was out there, but he was outside. Whereas yeah. teachers were inside with students. And it's you have to start yeah. asking yeah. who who mm -hmm. deserves it and who doesn't, because if you're going to give it to everybody, that's basically all of the funds. Yeah. Um, right, right. And is there, you said there would be, they'd be asking for specifics. Uh, is there something coming to the Board of Health or any other group? Yeah, for Brian was going to work on it, but I also, I mean, I have um, um, some, um, uh, a list, let's see, mm -hmm. um, that we can sort of just use for, for, for criteria. Oh, you can? Okay. Yeah. Well, get it to us at some point yeah. and we can. Yeah. Is there a deadline on this? No, no. I mean, it's, we're just, you know, we recognize there's like a year and a half before we have to spend it. And so what we wanted to do is sort of like way different proposals and decide which seemed to be the most reasonable. And, you know, one mm -hmm. of them being that if there's a proposal that requires a lot of, a big chunk of money, mm -hmm. that this is an option, this is an opportunity that you don't get very often. And also interestingly, um, uh, the select board had had a list of things that we decided to fund, including like library and stuff. And it ended up being that the town now has a chunk of money in savings because of that money. So it was sort of like, even though now it's tucked away in savings and it's a little harder to access, there is money in the coffers because of that money that um, the CR, CLRF put up. So that was just a little bonus. Did you guys just telling me? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, being I hadn't. Yeah, we don't get a newspaper, so I don't know what if that was a a select board decision, and you guys just went along with it, or was there a discussion about? There was. It? Oh no, we had a big discussion. We basically it was a line item, and we just went through things and said yes, no, mm -hmm. yes, no, and yeah. Um, Cool. You know, it was a little bit, we were, it was like select board has a, a deadline. Um, mm. uh, you need to decide now. And it I, it did feel a little bit pressured. But then again, it's like, you know, mm. we're just a volunteer organization. It's not like we have teeth or anything. So it's like. Mm. Yeah, but it sort of undermines the process a little bit. Anyway. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't have anything else there to Let's move on to White Birch and any other housing issues. Mark, do you want to jump in? 
You guys hear me okay? Yeah. Uh, it's a little soft. Um, I'm He's in driving the car. at the moment, so. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> careful. You should pull over. No, yeah, it's, I, it's, yeah, that's my, I'm looking for a spot, actually. Yeah. Um, we can wait. We can wait, Mark. Pull over. <laughs> I'd rather have you alive than uh, somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start with White Birch. Um, I actually swung down there today just to get an overview of trying to figure out how much work it, you know, what the next steps are. Um, mm -hmm. She wants to, and she was planning on originally opening earlier this week. I know that she had already told somebody that they could stay there, and I guess they're there now, but. Um, what I need to do is I need to actually do a full inspection. I'm going to need to go through all, I think I'm going to need to go through all the campers because there's a lot of campers on site that are owned by the campground, but are at least a couple that I looked at were in very bad disrepair. So I think they, part of my inspection is going to be, you know, requiring them to get rid of that because of Harborage and et cetera. Um, uh, the electric, supposedly the electrical inspector went through um, but there were a couple outlets that had issues, so I'm going to go through and check every outlet. I'm going to do a very thorough inspection, um, just because I have concerns. Mark, if they thought that, if they said the electrical inspector is there, was there, wouldn't they have um, evidence to that? Wouldn't that be mm -hmm. yeah. something behind? You would I think, that, I don't know how much, how thorough of an inspection they did, because one of the pedestals that I went to today, the bottom panel, where the cables come up through, which was just wasn't attached. Mm -hmm. so it was a severe shock hazard and the electricity is on. So um, yeah. So I want to go through and check every pedestal, every outlet, um, just to see what's going on. Because it okay. makes okay. me concerned. Yeah. She's done this before. I and she can't open until we get it, give her the okay, right? Is that yeah, understood? And I let her Pardon? know the swamp road. That she, I said, and I did, I told her that I talked to her this past Thursday and I told her that, you know, she was originally planning on opening on the first. And I told her first, of the, she hadn't applied online yet. We did get that. We did get the water test. Um, but I still, when I talked to her last week, I told her I was either going to go out today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Today I went out because I was went to swamp road also. So I, just did a quick walkthrough and just to see, you know, how much of an, you know, how long, how much time I was going to need to have to spend there potentially tomorrow. And mm -hmm. it's going to be a lengthy inspection. Yeah. And it's going to be a list of items, just like it was for Swamp Road, right? That she has to either fix. Well, that's somebody living there now. That's There's a trailer there now. Yeah. There was a, Tent and a camper. I'll go by tomorrow and see if I can no go. Stop it. That's that's I'll, really not kosher. Right. So she's she's essentially opening, and as far as she's concerned, she's got a she's got a a customer there. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna walk through tomorrow with with her? Yeah, I'm gonna give her a call tomorrow. My plan is to walk through in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would compile the same kind of list and tell her she can't open until things are fixed, period. That's, you know, we had to do this before, delay her, she, you know, that's what she understands, unfortunately. Unless there's some teeth to it, she'll just keep going and pretend like she's got a permit or that there's a pool and, um, and pool uh, person there, but there isn't. <laughs> Uh, I'll make sure that they're posted. That there's a sign posted too that you know, mm -hmm. the pool sign was there, but it was on the ground and it needs to be rehung up. It doesn't. The pool doesn't look any. There's a is she, pool closed sign that's normally on the fat on the door, the fence door, um, but it was actually on the ground and fallen off. So it just needs to be replaced. Yeah, but is there a certified pool um, operator there? No. No, so the, they need to have a sign up and it needs to be locked until such time as they get a pool permit and have it inspected. Okay, good. Um, anything more on White Birch? So you let us know and in a, in a way that 
you know, if we need to do something in between, uh, I just let you know that we did this before. We had to do this before yeah. with uh, white, white Birch and we don't wanna, it seems to be same old film, you know, this. No, it was the end. Okay, good. Okay, send us the list. Anything else? Is there anything other on Swamp Road or anything that's pending there? So I did a so for Swamp Road, I did a follow up inspection today. Um, and let's see what was actually finished. Um, in theory, the roof is finished, though it potentially could be leaking again. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, be. Occupants had concerns about it. I didn't see any active leaking, but it's you know it's potentially leaking. Um, uh, which which then, side, Mark? Which which one of the two on the left or right? Sorry, I was on the right side. So I think it's B. Okay. Um, well, water's so water. It's, if it's if it's if it's leaking, then there's only one place it could be coming from, right? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see it actively dripping. Um, no, you just because you weren't there during the storm, or right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it's something I want to keep. I mean, the ceiling needs to be redone, anyways. So. In theory, if it was leaking and they opened it up, they should notice it again. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In theory, but I did let them know to, you know, if they if it's actively leaking, let me know and I'll run out and take a look. Okay. So or or, or give us or, or send us a video so you don't have to run out, Mark. But um, mm -hmm. we can make sure that there is um, that is the roof being completed is not checked off. Um, that mm -hmm. as right. long as it's still leaking, it's not repaired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I see some damage. Right, but that damage yeah. could have like could be from anything. Yeah, right? from a long, from over a period of time. Is it currently actively leaking? Is the question. And it sounds like they're saying it is. Um, no reason to doubt that. Um, so the roof is not completed. Um, the roof project. Right, I gotta, um, yeah, I just got to verify it and see it before I can. Quote of course. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Anything else there on Schwamp? So I'll just kind of run you through the list. So I did a full reinspection, and the the door going in through the side door still sticks. There's still cracks in it. I'm just going to tell her to replace the door with a new door because mm -hmm. it just keeps getting band aid and you know, it just doesn't seem to be mm -hmm. working. Mm -hmm. um, same with the screen door. There's significant gaps. I mean, like half inch gaps in certain parts of it. So it needs to be, you know, that mm -hmm. needs to be reworked. The living room floor has been repaired um, mostly. There's a couple gaps here and there. There's a couple um, tile issues by the window. Um, and the transitions or uh, thresholds going from the living room to the kitchen, it's about a half an inch gap going up. Um, it's, so there needs to be some type of. Mm -hmm something to go between the two boundaries, whether it be a little piece of wood that goes up like a ramp or I don't know. It's, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a significant trip hazard. The same with the bathroom and going into the bedrooms, the, the bar that, you know, the, the plate that holds the mm -hmm. carpet down and holds the tile down is bent up and- It's a mess. Uh, it sounds like <laughs> just from those details that it's, there's a lot of work to do. And um, well, if you're given her a, uh, hmm? So yeah, so then you know there's some um, molding that needs to be fixed by the front door. The front door screen door needs a new. The screen door doesn't lock because there's no pin in the. First of all, I can't. I can't. I wasn't able to unlock the, the screen door handle. On top of the latch isn't there. There's usually a metal pin, but that's missing. So that needs to be replaced. The front door needs to be resurfaced because there's a lot of water damage to it. Um, mm. the windows in the front of the house don't lock. They're going to send me some pictures of the other ones in the bedroom because they're a little hard to get to. And mm -hmm. let's see. Okay. The bathroom tub still needs to be talked. Um, the hole oh. is more or less fixed. It has been more, you know, partially sealed. It didn't have a full cone of paint on it. So there was still some rough edges where it could be um, porous. Mm. Um, the sink is fixed in the bathroom, windows fixed. Let's see. There's some outlet 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're you're on it. And uh, Sandra and, and Jen, you're keeping them posted, right? On anything? Yes, I'm. I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Okay. Good. So, well, let's let's keep that process going. I did ask him to see if they can do newer windows because the windows are still drafty, though. Yeah. Well, we can mark and spec something better. So. Um, Good, so that process is ongoing. If we need yeah, to step up, thing. pardon? As I say, the only, yeah, so, yeah, so I'll talk with Mrs. Reed, you know, give her an yeah, I see this. It. Mm-hmm. this is a new roof and it's leaking. <laughs> God, yep. oh my God, okay. The only other thing <laughs> on Swamp Road I wanna mention, um, which needs your approval is that there is a camper at, um, there have been, there is a camera Mark told me to bring it up to the board regarding um, we have a family that's staying with us in a trailer outside oh. regarding that they had a house fire on April 12th. They were living in Hoyoke on Congress Ave. It was a big 12 unit family that was vac- evacuated. Um, they came in almost two weeks ago here. They've been using the ba- facilities down the street at the hotel. Um, truck stop and for showering and mostly toileting occasionally they might come in to go to the bathroom um it's we're gonna try to do it like they've been looking at and they're also on the um dh dh dp or something it's some housing program that they help for people with that's been through Mm. tragedies tragedies Mm -hmm. like this they're trying right cross only gave them a couple of days in the hotel so okay. so where are they now they've been camping in the trailer that's in my yard mm-hmm. not How using many? any electrical or nothing from here in the house they're running off of a generator buying their own stuff to cook <laughs> and going down the street to shower and going down the street How many people? Of, um there's two little kids uh, two grown adults that live in there and then there's she has two other kids that um, another son and a daughter and another son but the other one's not always here there's there's literally literally about five people usually there out of a sleep six and or seven people that sleeps but there's seven of them literally that potential is here during the day sometime though so the kids can visit their mom, their, their grown kids. Okay, so I heard uh, two minors, two older, uh, two minors, two adults, and um, four other kids. Three, so that, three other, so her three adult kids that, and so, but they're not always here. They come, they come occasionally. Including the son. So really there's four people there? Really, right. yeah, four. Um, it's not really kosher to start with. Um, what's the timeline on this? You're... We're hoping within the month. Mm-hmm. They've already went and looked at several apartments that they're, they're not doing through the DHP only. They're trying to do others. Mm-hmm. They tried mm-hmm. to give them a two bedroom and then realized it was one boy and one girl, so they couldn't give them that apartment. Mm-hmm. So it was mm-hmm. something on the other end, not theirs, you know? Mm-hmm. And then they said, well, like the kids have the bedroom, I'll sleep in the living room, but I guess the housing lines, they don't allow it, you know? Well, okay, so let me, can I, can I just um, put in um, a couple of cents here? I don't work yeah. at the family um, core, family housing rather, um, but I don't want to damage your um, stance um, in terms of getting things repaired at your house. Mm-hmm. You have an inordinate number of people who are living mm-hmm. in your apartment and in your, on your property um, that might interfere with where things are going for you um, in terms of you know getting all these repairs done. Um, mm-hmm. and none of us want that. You have a path to getting your home up to mm-hmm. code. Um, I, I would be saddened to learn that having you know all of these folks um, <laughs> using using that space uh, might get in the way of it. 
Again, I don't work for the housing court. I, I don't know, Mark, maybe you can speak to it, but yeah, it does not sound as, as Fran said, um, that that's not a very good situation. We understand it's an emergency. We understand folks are mm -hmm. in need. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, as, as, and, and so is it your space right now in, in need of great repair and, and we're, on the, mm -hmm. we're on the mission of getting that repaired. I don't wanna get anything in the way to mm -hmm. repair that. Yeah, I accommodate her as much as possible anyway to come in and out. So, yeah, that. Yeah, but that's an, and it could be an issue for the septic too, not to mention a few other things. But again, that's going to be a distraction. That's really not your land or property. The landlord. Well, I mentioned it to could, her. She said okay. She, yeah. <laughs> she said okay no, now, but yeah. wait till she says yeah. okay. Let's go to court and just be yeah. careful. Mark, what yeah. do you think yeah. about this? We. Oh, can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm just on a different screen. I just want to make sure. Okay. So the reason I wanted to bring it up to the board, because it is, you know, under the housing code, it is the board of health has to uh, approve any temporary housing, which is, mm -hmm. this is kind of what fall under. They do have a plan that they're going to, and I'm going to give Jen a list of septic pumpers so that they can use the system within their, our, their unit to limit their, you know, using anything like that. Oops, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. So the goal would try to be keep every, if everything could be contained within the just I've done this another time. You know, I'm just trying to think for this earlier. So if yeah. they're not using it, putting anything in the septic system, the board, you know, I've had other boards approve that, you know, temporary housing and they would review it um, on a monthly basis, depending on you know the situation. Okay, what are we uh, um, responsible to do then if we're okaying this for a limited temporary housing option for the folks that need it while they're homeless? So we'll just make sure that they have, you know, power, hot water, and, you know, some type of septic system. So we just, you know, I could stop by and make sure that they're okay with, you know, the conditions are, okay, are safe. Um, yeah, but, mm -hmm. But we also have to be careful about how long. I mean, I don't want right. to rush them, but um, this is obviously not a long-term solution. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's why I would say, you know, if hopefully it only takes a month, but you know, if it was mm -hmm. a longer thing, then the board could review it. At yeah. Each yeah, it's the summer, but I go back to Mike's point too. This this could quickly get in the way of the other housing issues. Because so, I'm worried that um, when, when mm -hmm. we talk about that one issue that you mentioned, Mark, is it safe? And so we already mm -hmm. have a home with mm -hmm. uh, faulty you know, ceilings and all sorts of issues. Um, and now we're adding more people to it. So are we you know, um, green lighting and saying, yeah, sure, um, let's mm -hmm. have more people in this unsafe situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, caveat, the caveat I would add is that they would, you know, they would need to keep the the unit, the trailer itself would have to be self sufficient to the point where they, they wouldn't need the facilities in the house. It's literally yeah. just them parking a piece of land temporarily until right. they can find, it, as opposed to putting any more stress in any way on the um, on Swamp Road. Mm -hmm. So you're proposing to check in uh, weekly on this, or how? <laughs> I mean, you're down there anyway, inspecting. But that's what's the program here that you propose? I could check in periodically with them, and you know, I could. I'll talk. I can talk with Jen and try to talk with them and just get it so to see. Mm -hmm. Try to set up just a quick walkthrough, just make sure everything's, you know, safe, and you know they have all the you, all the mm -hmm. stuff that they need. And then, you know, make sure that they have a plan in place to deal with any septage and all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, there has to be a place. Uh, uh, okay. So for this month, you're going to do that. And then we'll see how it is by May, uh, June, right? I am concerned about the, the issue of Mrs. Reed taking a look at saying, hey, this is not going to work. This is not your land. Um, get that trailer out of here. <laughs> and um, then we don't have much recourse, I don't believe. It's my trailer. Like... It's your trailer? Yeah, but, okay. 
All right. So we'll leave it at that. Mark, you'll keep us uh, thing. Yep. Keep us uh, with all of these issues, all of these uh, yep. issues from Swamp Road to White Birch, et cetera. Anything else housing wise? I, I have a, just a quick thing um, that maybe we should just add to the next agenda, just because we're talking about housing. Um, mm -hmm. Aunt Throt's on the housing committee and she and I were chatting um, about whether the housing committee should have a board of health member on it. It should, but yeah, I I've proposed several times some projects that they've never taken up. There's a community, well, build, um, community builders. Yeah, like it's, who's on this committee? Why aren't you, know, you got funds from CPA? Yeah, I think it's about time that, um, well, I'd like to see the makeup of the committee and it's, this is the CPA housing committee. Um, no, actually, it's not. It's not a new committee, I believe. And Mike oh. may be able to tell me tell more about it. But it's um, yeah, it's mm -hmm. a it's a housing committee. Um, and I can let me read mm -hmm. the um, email from her so I can. Be, mm. uh, this is Ugin Montserrat. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this person? I don't know, but she volunteers for a lot of things. M O N T what? Okay, the Waitley Housing Committee. Um, uh, select board vote in favor of appointing you all to the Waitley Housing Committee. Welcome. Um, currently waiting for the Mass Department of Housing and Community Development to return an executed contract to the town, and then we can hold our first meeting in conjunction with FERCOG to begin the process of creating a housing production plan for the town. So it's the idea is to create affordable housing. I mean, that would be the main focus is to create affordable yeah, housing for the town. And yeah. it seems like a it, it seems to very much dovetail with what we're talking about right now because it we does, need yeah. Affordable housing. So um, yeah, and uh, for seniors too. Affordable right. housing. So, for seniors, uh, so I, as my, as so you know my position on um, CLRF is temporary, so I can always um, think about mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Because um, it seems yeah. important, so um, I will look into it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Give, you can always send us in between uh, information, you know, on the yeah. chart. And yeah, all I'll, I'll um, I will forward you um, Montserrat's email so you can see. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You you'd like to be on it? Okay, good. If if, if then. Hmm? The What's that, Mark? Can't hear you quite. Is it, is it a similar program for the Hilltown CDC? I don't know. Um, we, I got a call from some, a Waitley resident that was looking for trying to find, like the Hilltown CDC will do septic systems for people that are low income, et cetera. So I did, I did had somebody reach out to me today uh, over the weekend about a septic system that they were trying to find a low interest loan or some type of loan uh, through the town. I could imagine <laughs> that that could be um, mm -hmm. uh, dovetail, you know, that could be the sort of thing that a committee like this would um, work on. To mm. promote, you know, help allow people people without much money to own homes. Yeah, I don't know if Hilltown's covers Waitley, Hilltown CDC, but there's a um, there's a Franklin County CDC too, I think. So, yeah, good, all good. Um, let's move on to Fran. Yep, Sandra it, or Mark. Is there going to be a time frame that Mrs. Reed is going to have to wait or? Oh, when do you think the campground's going to open? The stuff's, whenever the, when the stuff that needs to be fixed is fixed, and mm -hmm. that, that, that timeline is going to be based on um, how quickly she gets it done. Mm -hmm. You should know that, Sandra, that we, uh, yeah. we closed her for an entire year because she didn't do the work and wouldn't do the work until it was so. Yeah, that know. was two years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, this year, she. She said the electric inspector came, but all he did actually, she told me today was just check the big, huge electric boxes that are on the building. He doesn't go around and check all the, um, the pedestals and everything. She mm -hmm. normally has a private contractor, electric contractor come around and test all the plugs, but she hasn't in two years. So there's a lot of them that aren't working properly. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Bar for the course, unfortunately. Yeah, she needs to get a. But 
she won't do it unless it's stated that she needs to have an electrician. Yeah, yeah. We, okay. We understand. Mark understands. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, let's see what we got left. Oh, a bunch of items. There's a mosquito spraying opt-out process, just like last year, and uh, we'll be. I assume everybody wants to do that. I uh, sent you guys the uh, documents that we need to complete. I, I can boot them up if you want to see them again. But we'll be asked to go to, we will go before the select board on the 11th, six o'clock to, cause they have to sign off. Um, it's, uh, does anybody want to see the documents that I sent earlier or do you, you guys good with this? Um, we got them right, you sent them? Yep, that's okay. I sent them. Yeah, yeah, I can show them quick if you want to see them quick. Is uh, it May, May 11th or June 11th? May 11th. Okay. Yeah, the plans have to, they have to be into the state by the end of the month okay. with a certified signature of the Board of Health and all um, of the select board. So yeah, it's a, there's a checklist and there's a um, um, opt-out plan. So I'll just do the checklist quick. You can see it from last year. It's a, they made the process a little bit easier. And for us, you know, and uh you know, this this small process, you gotta go, they gotta hold a public hearing, which is what the select board does, confirmation that the Board of Health was consulted, obviously, that uh, public comment was allowed and what it's opting out of, et cetera. So those, those are the steps. Um, and the opt-out plan is similar to last year. It looks like uh, wherever that is, mosquito plan. It's a bunch of checklists. They said uh, provide, oh, which is, um, and uh, Foothills has been talking about this. I sent this along to Foothills. Things, mostly it's educational things. One of which is like last year, the brosh brochure that we want to stick in the scoop, the mosquito um, prevention, whatever for sure you remember that from last year yes and we did that we sent it with the may scoop so we'll, if that's okay with you guys perfect is all this okay with you guys by the way this is yeah. the, yeah. okay good so it's uh may 11 six o'clock i'll just and i'll get this to them say we and this is our plan um and that these are the steps and uh etc so I'll get to, to them and for the scoop, I'm gonna do a little article just like last year. And then with reference to the um, brochure that will be attached to the scoop, color brochure. And Mark, are you get, is that something that it will so what send the bill to Foothills, right? I know that your information's in there. If you wanna put like, for, I, I did all these for all the other towns and just threw my information in there as opposed to the chairs. So if oh. you, you're more than welcome to be on there if you want to be, but um, if you want to put the Foothills information in the, in the con, you know, under the, the contact. Okay. In the, the, in the article or in the brochure? In the brochure, uh, in the forms that you sent to the, to, the, to the state. Oh, okay. Well, you guys are the, because um, the state wanted to know this, the arborvirus uh, yeah. coordinators. Mike is primary and Mark is secondary for all of us, right? So, the, okay. Brian, yeah. I have one question, one more question. Yeah. Um, will the campground be open before the next meeting or will you have to have a, another town meeting before you give them their permit? <laughs> that depends, but I, I think we're given a past experience things are unlikely to be completed before our next, what do you think, Mark? This is our next meeting, June 1st? She meets all the, yeah, I would say, you know, if she, in theory, if she meets all the conditions where, you know, everything's working correctly and et cetera, then- How about those theory, campers she, though? Campers shouldn't right. be there now. Oh, those, yeah. 
The abandoned well, we have, campers that have been there for 10 years, I have all the mold and everything in them. Yeah, we had to remove uh, a handful, but these are the remainder. Those, those have to go too. She yeah. knows how to get rid of them. She got rid of a few in the past. So I would make that contingent, Mark. Get rid of them. Okay. Okay, so they, she would have to remove the campers before it opened. Yeah. Okay, all right, thanks. Does everybody agree with that? These campers are non-habitable. They're chunk. They got oh, God no, knows what, what else living in them. <laughs> What's it? What you, Ritter, I, I, went, I went to look at one and I wouldn't even, I want anybody to step in it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah good job. Okay. Good. Are you, no more questions, Sandra or Jen? No, nope, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so there's a floodplain bylaw that Saint Hannah wanted to know about whether um, what the, I don't know why I put this on here, but she wanted to know what the Board of Health thought of uh, um, septic in the floodplains. And there, the state has some regs in it. We have, um, because of Whaley's water situation, um, the town water down there in the eastern part of the town is 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 there, but um, part of that area is in floodplain, and I don't think it's going to be affecting us. But I just put that on to be aware of. Right, Mark, do you have any uh, thoughts on that? This is something from Hannah actually. Um, Beck, if you're talking with her, you can talk to her about this. And the last one I wanted to um, um, put on there was, and I put on there was the uh, uh, an act relative to paint recycling. It states finally coming around saying that paint has to be recycled, so it can't be dumped, even um, um, latex paint. So our latex has already been sort of, at least in in the Franklin County area, we have a little take program, but it's not not everybody. So they want to make it mandatory for everybody, uh, both um, uh, latex and um, lead-based or whatever, not lead-based. Oil. Oil-based, yeah. So you guys on board with this? It's yeah, just- I mean, uh, I'm assuming that means only wet liquid paint. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah, it's about time to state stuff. Take took those further steps to make it mandatory. So it's just a new act. So I'll I'll send in the support letter for that, and that's it from the let's see foothills. Mark, you want to give us an update on that? Mike has an update on H friendly too. You wanted to say something about that, right, Mike? Um, I. Don't know that Hello. I do this girl. Um, do I have something to say about age friendly? Um, I think we're um, the steering committee is moving forward. We're meeting next Monday is our next meeting, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah. uh, we're just um, uh, sifting through and trying to uh, uh, get the the smart people in the room to figure out, you know, exactly, mm -hmm. you know, how best to glean the the information out of that, you know, really impressive, mm -hmm. me impressive response to the survey that was put out. So I um, had to hear so many people responded and uh, now we just get the information and figure out what does it mean and yeah. how we can move forward in decision-making. So it was a good... Uh, yeah, I may have put it on there uh, instead of Valley Neighbors. Well, both Valley Neighbors and yours, it's good. And uh, Inspector Mark, in Inspector, you wanna fill Beck and uh, Mike in? Yes, so actually there's, a handful of updates for the foothills. So we ended up hiring Gina sure. McNeely, who mm -hmm. has 20 plus years of experience doing inspections. Mm -hmm. Originally worked out, I believe it was Montague. Um, she's since retired. And so she's gonna be doing about 15 hours a week, 15 to 20 hours a week for us um, for inspections <coughs> and uh, such. She came in, today was kind of her first day going out. Or we went out to the, did a couple places in West Hampton and then um, and she went out and did some other Title Five inspections. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's getting I'm, I'm gearing her up to do some, you know, the rest of the like the food inspections and et cetera. 
Mm -hmm. um, we did longer term planning. We, you know, we had talked with Gina about training a new person when, if, and when they came on and, you know, cause the long, the long term plan of the foot, you know, of the, of this grant is to keep, is to get staff in place that'll, you know, stick around for a while and stuff. So the thought is to get an inspector. We did actually get a resume in, um, this week, uh, over the weekend. Really? Position. So, yeah. So we'll an interesting one or but, an interesting well, one. Health. He's actually works for the Holyoke. Oh my God! Awesome. So Gina is from Holyoke. Uh, He'd love to train him. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you know that you know so the inspector position is ramping up, and that'll help me be able to mm -hmm. focus on some more of the grant stuff and some other planning mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we finally got our check from the state today. Uh, yeah. Got what from the state today? The check. We finally got PAT grant over. check. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, yeah, it's only two months late. Um, yeah. Did, did you see the email that came from uh, Jeremy today about uh, setting up a quarterly meeting, get together? He just sent it like a. No. Uh, okay. no, we can do that. Out of the office of three. Um, Speaking of money, uh, we have a three hundred dollar check from uh, the Waitley Inn for something you guys did inspection. Does that have to go through the? Uh, foothills um you know yeah yeah if, if it's in the yeah if you want to leave it in the mailbox we can pick it up yeah i'll leave it there so that you guys can process it and then it gets yeah logged in and yeah stuff. they have forgotten to get their permits this year oh yeah so, so i followed up with them i mean yeah so it's a new system so people are getting used to it a couple mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. finally assume that you know a lot of places have to get a common vehicular license through the town itself which is any restaurant with seating um, on top of the food permits that they have to get. Uh -huh. So just a food permit, permit yep. basically. So they're, mm. they're actually food and um, catering, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah. We did get a complaint about the Rainbow Motel a couple of weeks ago. I went and did an inspection. It's, mm. it's, it's a usable location. I mean, it's not, we're not the, as I always say, we're not the pretty police. It's a functional it's a functional motel. Um, mm. Some improvements, and I'm gonna make it a routine habit of making well, making sure you know. I need to make mm. sure that they still don't have their permit, so I got to follow up with them on that. But yeah. my plan is to you know schedule. Generally speaking, health departments don't do inspections at hotel motels, but mm. there is something in the code that says they can peri they should periodically do them. So my plan plan is to do routine, regular inspections with them, to, so that they can lo slowly, gradually make things there better. Well, yeah, because they're not really a hotel in some way. Well, they may be, but in name only, they have long-term rentals there. I think, right? Do they actually have any? Like, well, they shouldn't. Oh, oh they shouldn't. That's that's nope. most. Of, that's most of their. <laughs> I believe well, because there's certain criteria, you know, for to yeah. for it to be a long-term rental, there needs to be an oven and stove, which I doubt any of them have. Mm -hmm. um, that's criteria check. one. I mean, if it's yeah, I'm just mentioning, but check that out. I think that's a lot of yeah. what's going on down there. It probably has been going on for a long time. So keep us posted on that. Um, okay. The other thing that's going on foothills wise is tomorrow I'm meeting with a scan. Um, person about digitizing the records i'm going to go around to all the town halls with him to, so he can get an idea of what the actual amount of work is going to be progress mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sounds good um uh one and we're going to have the bulky waste day coming up and um so monty our favorite volunteer is not <laughs> going to be around Montserrat, i think it is. but yes. but becky is those children getting married, they always get in the way. I'm, I, I really, uh, I have to jump um, to the- um, Yeah, no, we gotta go. So we're, we're done, I think. Okay. Anybody have anything? I just wanted to check with Becky about uh, timing on she You guys can leave if you want. Um, okay, good to see everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Um, so, yeah. Um, so you can do nine to 11 that day? Yeah. yeah it's yep. good. Is, is Dan interested? I'm sure he will. Yeah. Well, yes, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Just to make 
just to make our Becky happy. That's right. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to put you guys together then uh, for that for that shift, and I'll let you guys know when I meet with the the Franklin County Solid Waste Management people tomorrow morning what is going on. Thanks for writing the scoop article. That's great, and following up with um, um, the no idle signs. And yep. let me know. Uh, yeah, if you want to run it by me, and I'll run. I'll yeah. send out my um, um, mosquito article for it. Okay, so, so we'll have a couple of things in the scoop yep. this time. Yeah, perfect. Good. All, All right. right. All right. See Thank you later. You. Thanks, Mark. Bye. Bye Mark. Mark. Yep. Mark, one question. Are you seeing Tom at all? Talk uh, to I, I, mean, I talk to him periodically, not as much as I, yeah. Yeah, because, uh, you know, he wanted to do the bylaws. I did the thing and he said, yeah, let's let's do it and get together and um, you know run them through so we have a sort of complete draft but i haven't heard yeah. from since i've emailed i've taught if left phone messages not the lunch someplace i don't know well, if you happen to be talking to him have him call me <laughs> we'll do i don't think i've talked to him in a well well we're good we're meeting friday anyway so the hell yeah, yeah. okay Okay, great. Good to hear about Gina and all that. We'll see you uh, then. <laughs> yeah, keep us posted. I, this is a, a rerun with uh, White Birch, you know, just always. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I expect it to be job security as I always, you know. It's job security. <laughs> yep. So, you know. Well, you know, the fines worked. They, they've worked magically somehow. So if it, if we, it so Mrs. Reed's name came up while uh, Gina was in in the office, and she's like, "Mrs. Reed," and I'm like, and she's like, "She has a reputation." Oh, no, she has a big time reputation. She may have properties in uh, Turner's too. I'm in Montague Turner's. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, she's definitely yeah. Yeah, and yeah, no kidding. Good. Put uh, put Gina in it. <laughs> well, talk to you later then. All right. Thanks. See you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye.